guys, and welcome back to the Virtual Reality Show, where we talk about any and all things related to virtual reality inside virtual reality. <laughs> I'm your host, Fia. Technology is evolving at an alarming rate, and XR tech in particular is blowing up. But what exactly is XR, and what's the difference between VR, AR, MR, and 360 video? I'm here to explain the differences of these technologies so that you can know as they pave the way towards our future. XR stands for Extended Reality. It is the catch-all term for VR, AR, MR, and 360 video. The X can be variable for other letters as a stand-in to include the other realities. It's pretty straightforward and is a common term tossed around when talking about emerging tech from different companies like Google and Facebook. So now that we've established XR, let's move into the specifics. Virtual reality. I'm sure most of us here are familiar with VR considering this is the virtual reality show and all, but let's define it so that we know exactly how it differs from other XR tech. Virtual reality takes place in an immersive and fully virtual environment. It blocks out the outside world, carrying you away from the objective reality we all know so well from our day-to-day -day lives. But an important definition of virtual reality is that it is interactive. This is a very important distinction from 360 videos, where you are viewing an environment as a stationary observer. Important features of virtual reality include the ability to move around the environment and interact with it. Now, a lot of people will claim that 360 video is a type of VR, especially because you can view it by using a virtual reality headset. But there is a huge distinction. 360 video is typically a flat video with no 3D effects and no interactivity. You might use VR to navigate your way inside of a 360 video, but the actual experience itself is a stationary environment. There's tons of examples of 360 videos on YouTube that have millions of views, and it's become pretty accessible for anyone to get a taste of. Most of the time, these videos are created by using a 360 camera like Google Maps uses to record and film different places in the world. The reason 360 videos are often called VR videos is because you can view them using a VR headset. Now, while that distinction is very clear, 3D 360 is where the line gets blurry. These videos can be filmed in real life and be made to have 3D depth through stereoscopic imagery. At first, it may have the appearance of being VR because it looks like a gaming world, but if there is no interactivity, it is a video. Now I've heard these types of videos being considered VR, like Disney movies VR on the Oculus Store, but I've also heard of films like First Step, a movie about the Apollo 11 mission, being referred to as strictly 3D 360 despite also being computer generated. I personally think that unless there is any type of interactivity, it is 3D 360 and not VR. However, this distinction is still up for debate, considering so many people, including large companies, still refer to it as VR video, but I think that might be because it's easier to digest. Now that we've established VR and 360 video, let's move on to something completely different. Augmented reality. The easiest way to tell someone about it is to say, have you seen Iron Man before? And if they answer yes, you go, yeah that. It's an overlay of virtual content onto real life to enhance what you see. The Iron Man example is perfect because inside his suit, he sees overlays of digital information that enhance his understanding of his real world surroundings during his epic stealth and fight scenes. This can be used in a variety of ways. There's Pokemon Go, where AR functionality is used to interact with and catch those little pocket monsters in your real world. There's also things like car navigation to help assist with driving to your destination and providing caution for potential threats. Google, Apple, and Facebook are all trying to hop on the AR train along with many other companies. Facebook Reality Labs is working on something called Live Maps, where they are mapping the world from a first-person perspective to help create an accurate index for AR technology. 
AR glasses are going to start becoming more accessible in the next few years, so don't be surprised when you see people walking down the street with slick glasses catching Pokemon. Now, mixed reality, also known as merged reality, is if VR and AR had a baby. It's a cross between the two. So what does MR do that VR does not? Well, it interacts with the real objective world. Virtual reality is completely virtual, but MR takes those virtual objects and throws them into our everyday life. And how is it different from AR? Well, AR is focused on overlaying digital content while MR is focused on interacting with virtual objects. A good demonstration of this is something like a virtual board game. Imagine using mixed reality glasses to play a board game on the table with your friends. You could move virtual pawns around with your hands and roll virtual dice. You interacting with this content is why it's mixing the virtual with the non-virtual in this way. VR and 360 video can be experienced through a VR headset, while AR and MR can be experienced through glasses, but this isn't the limit to what is possible. Eventually, there may be brain-machine interfaces like Neuralink that involve full-dive VR support as well as AR and MR compatibility. And we can't forget there's also the option of eventual contact lenses that you'll be able to use as an alternative to glasses. There's so many possibilities when it comes to XR technology. We are just at the beginning of what's to come. So if you wanna get excited about the future together, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. If you wanna chat more about the future of XR, then come join over to my Twitch channel where I'll be going live right after this video uploads. Also consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue making content just like this. Anyways, I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Dutech, Flukule, Scoremaller, and Top Waffle. Energy vibes, and you go pew, 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 pew. That's what I'm doing for you right now. Positive vibe beam. Okay, positive vibe beam. There you go. And everybody else can have some positive vibe beams too. Ready? One last one. There you go.